here we are at Winstay's trial plots, just on the outskirts of Western Park on the Shropshire Staffordshire border. Right, we're in the quality week section, um, so we're looking still at group two varieties, but we really shouldn't be. Siskin is rated as a group two on the recommended list. Think of it as a feed variety. It's all about yield. Don't think of it as a quality wheat. It's one of only two varieties which offers a seven for Septoria triticae, so it's very, very strong on Septoria triticae and it's strong on most diseases with a possible exception of brown rust. Moving on to one of the new varieties for this time, I think Graham has an awful lot going for it. it looks fabulous here, I think you'll agree, in the plots. It's one of only two varieties with a seven for Septoria triticae. The other one we spoke about earlier was KWS Siskin, so it's bound to be popular in the West for that reason. It might do the early drilling slot. It's, it's quite a slow developer, it's reasonably stiff, but it doesn't have the eye spot resistance that Grafton has. So that might need just a little bit of watching. Right, we're now into two row feed barley varieties. We'll start with Surge because it offers a completely different set of genetics to what to all the other barley varieties we've got, the, the popular two row barley varieties at the moment, KWS dominate, and they have done for very good reason and produce some very good varieties. Surge is from Syngenta, it's from a completely different breeding program and as such offers a real improvement in mildew resistance particularly, but also this one has the best Rinko resistance of the, of the, um, of the two row feed varieties. It's actually the highest yielding barley, the highest yielding two row in the eastern region and it's the second highest yielding in the western region. 